Nobody likes long intros, so let's watch 10 facts about Britt Baker right now. Number 10. In general. Let's see some general facts about Britt very quickly before we jump into the juicy stuff. Britt's 30 years old. She was born in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. She's 5 foot 7 and around 120 pounds, or 170 centimeters and 55 kilos for my European brothers. Number 9. She's Adam Cole's baby. If you're following Britt and Adam on social media, you've already known this one. The funny part is that Britt's boyfriend is alive on NXT, but a ghost on being the elite. For those that have no idea what I'm talking about here, Adam had to be written off being the elite when he left for WWE and was poisoned by the Young Bucks. It's an ongoing joke since then and often used by fans and wrestlers, including Britt. All the wonderful questions so I'm gonna go ahead and pick one have you gotten revenge yet on the Bucks for what they did to him? pick another one oh, um, sorry but, so are we gonna talk about this everything okay talk talk about what really you don't want to address the situation the giant white so, elephant in the room what El elephant what are you talking about right yeah okay you want to talk about the fact that you murdered my boyfriend? At Number 8. Dentist. So, Brit's gimmick includes being a dentist, and that's not uncommon in the pro wrestling world. Many wrestlers have used professions as their gimmicks, such as Brutus the Barber Beefcake or Kane back when he was a dentist. But we all know that has nothing to do with real life, right? At least I hope so. What about Brit? Is she a real dentist, or is it just an act? Let's listen to see what she has to say. Special to me personally, because Pittsburgh is where I went to my first wrestling match, is where I had my first wrestling match, is where I learned how to become a professional wrestler. Also happens to be where I got my degree from the University of Pittsburgh School of Dental Medicine to be a dentist. Yes, it's real. Britt, even though a baker, is a real dentist. She currently works at Florida and has a rating of 4.3 stars on caredash.com. It's totally up to you whether you believe that Britt is a great wrestler or not. However, she's a really good dentist, and that is undisputed. Number 7. She had the best trainers. A big factor in people's success in professional wrestling is their trainer. Luckily for Baker, she was trained by the best. You could say that they showed her the way. That's right, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae were Britt's trainers. Johnny and Candace are veterans in the business and have a great understanding of the fundamentals. They know how to sell, they can do the flips, and they can tell a story inside the squared circle too. Number 6. Her short run in WWE She made her debut for the promotion in a losing effort against Nia Jax in 2016. I know what you're thinking. Poor Brit, Nia definitely botched a move and hurt her. Luckily for Brit, she wasn't added to Nia's victims. But her luck didn't last forever. She returned two years later only to suffer a shoulder injury in a match against Shayna Baszler. A few months before that, she had taken part in the May Young Classic Tournament, but her WWE appearances don't stop there. Number 5. Britt Returns to NXT Not as a wrestler this time, Britt returned to NXT to watch her fiancé Adam Cole. And this return gave us two golden Britt Baker moments. That didn't come without some controversy, as the cameraman wasn't supposed to show Britt, an AEW wrestler. Triple H personally apologized to her, claiming that the cameraman didn't know who she was and that he hoped he didn't get her in hot water with AEW. Britt said that she didn't necessarily believe that the camera crew didn't know who she was, but Triple H was very apologetic and nice to her, and in the end, no problems were created. But the other Britt Baker moment? was even better. Number 4. The Infamous Death Stare Britt wasn't the only lady in attendance that the cameraman showed that night. Stephanie McMahon was also in attendance and when the camera focused on her, Britt can be seen in the background giving Stephanie a not so friendly stare. My guess is that this was accidental, but still hilarious. It became a viral meme too with many pages posting this golden moment. By the way, are you a coffee addict like me? If so, we have the perfect t-shirt for you. A link will be in the description. Number 3. 
She was all in. Before All Elite Wrestling was created, Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks created an event that would change the pro wrestling landscape forever. All In. The event featured only one women's match, which was a four-way match between Chelsea Green, Madison Rain, Tessa Blanchard, and of course, Britt Baker. That's where Britt impressed the future AEW executives, which resulted into number two, the first ever. Baker was the first woman to sign with AEW. She also ended up being the first woman to win a match in AEW, which was also a four-way match. Britt defeated Nyla Rose, Kylie Ray, and Awesome Kong at their debut PPV Double or Nothing. Before we jump into number one, make sure you watch until the very end, because after this, we have a hilarious Britt Baker appearance on Being the Elite, and trust me, you don't want to miss that. Number 1. Praised by the Competition Britt's role model gimmick has rubbed some fans the wrong way, with some of them even saying that she copied Bailey. But let's see what Bailey and Britt had to say about the whole situation. I love Britt, Bailey admitted. She's awesome and everything she's doing is really cool, so I can't even hate on her. I've heard her podcast where she talks about it and there's no hard feelings. There's no disrespect and I only want the best for her because as a role model, that's how you're supposed to react to these types of things. So, go get him, Britt Baker. Britt has stated that the inspiration for her gimmick came from Chris Jericho and not Bailey. Since the two ladies have no hard feelings, who are we to judge? Let's leave all this behind and watch the bonus scene. Enjoy. Denzel, Denzel Washington. No, Alex, I'm not even. What are you talking about? It's classic Come on, Denzel. You're talking on my head. Hey, whoa, 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 oh, 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 Britt, 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 Britt. Um, I don't know if you heard, but uh, we're in this really cool group called the Dark Order, and uh, yeah, we're, we were actually yeah, we were talking, and we're thinking maybe we might need someone like you with another profession that yeah. might, that might help the dark yeah. one. Okay. We don't okay. have real jobs. So. Maybe. I'm always looking for money, for business. Oh, yeah. yeah, so this will be a perfect fit. This will be perfect. We have like, cool meetings where you can just kind of bring, you know, scones or... Yeah, uh, uh, fresh bread yeah. and, and oh, cakes. Great. You make good cakes, right? Yeah. Correct? What? No. Yeah, cakes. Yeah. Like, you this probably heard it. Yeah. Really no. good cakes? Gut, you idiots. I'm not a baker. It's my name. My name is Britt Baker. I'm a dentist. You're, well, you wait. Britt... Ba no, your name's Britt Baker. It's in your name. Yeah, Britt Baker, the dentist. Britt Baker, the role model. Britt Baker, the face of the women's division. It's in my name. It's part of my name. But your name's not Britt Dentist. Oh it's Fine. Britt Baker. Look, what look, are you we'll, we'll, what we'll, com saying? we'll compromise. You can just bake us some cupcakes with some d braces designed on them. Yeah, and, and, and we'll call it even. We have great dental already. So we, really don't, we don't need, need a dentist. We need yeah. cakes. Brody loves cakes. No, no, 